to the Fantasy Footballers Podcast with your hosts, Andy Holloway, Jason Moore, and Mike Wright. Oh, welcome in. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> got some regrets. <laughs> I think everyone's got regrets that's tuning in right now. Taylor Swift, Fat Thor and Ken. Taylor, you're Put Nancy looking. on the map. That's a pretty exhaustive list. We've got a couple more names on the website. If you go look at the fantasy football uh, rankings, uh, the waiver wank- rankings on fantasyfootballers.com. No, no, Whoa. no, no, yeah, no. So, uh, fantasy you're gonna need an incog we- window for <laughs> for those. Yeah. Um, oh. Ooh. Jason, <laughs> Jason, the it's, rankings. It started. I think you were trying to say the fancyfootballers dot com, and then you, you said the fancy football, football rankings. rankings, but you like bailed out of that. Yeah, and then you fell apart, <laughs> and then you turned into and a an, dirty old man. A, d- a W showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that I don't want to be a part of those <laughs> rankings. Yeah, you could check out my personal <laughs> <laughs> rankings. No, please, guys. In their age thirty one season, Emmanuel Sanders was top twenty. In points per game, Julio, of course, and it's me, Jason, <laughs> Adam Thielen. When I was a young spry, 31, I was the wide receiver, 16. Do you remember those days? The good old days. <laughs> I wish I could go back in my own time machine. Last year, Hopkins <laughs> averaged nearly 11 targets per game. I don't He's think so much younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> He's so much younger than you, Mike. He's so much younger. Not in my heart. It's a good player to be paying attention to. I've got one that'll gross you out. Yeah, it will. <laughs> it'll make you a little bit older. Yes. <laughs> Adam Thielen. Oh, did someone say my name? <laughs> I'm very hard of hearing because I'm so old. Yes, we know what that means, what? Mike. <laughs> old people just proclaiming how old they are. I love it. Um, I'm almost 40. <laughs> Jason might end up with him because holy uh, Toledo, he did. Ah! <laughs> that, so, so let me explain the grunts and screams. I took Gibbs, Metcalf, Lamar, Najee, and then I'm one pick away. Jason's my guy, Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews almost fell to the three eleven. That's why I love him. Drake London, Jerry Judy, Christian Watson, Chris Godwin, Jason back on the clock. He just <laughs> grunted again. Yeah, I really... <laughs> Who'd you w- want? I wanted Chris Godwin. And Dak, Ingram, <laughs> and Joku, and Javante off the board before Jason's pick. I mean, this is like a uh, stupid team. Ten, I don't like you. I'm looking at my roster, and I like Jahan Dotson. I like Jordan Addison a lot, um, and I like James Cook. So I'm going to play the ADP game here and try to get two of those three players. I'm going to take James Cook first. So okay. uh, that will add him to Saquon and Ramondre Stevens. Are you for <laughs> John Dotson goes next. So you got sandwiched. Cook and then Dotson and Addison. So you're my Are guy. Are you kidding? I wanted Dotson or Addison. <laughs> this is amazing. I, that's all I wanted. I'm like, oh, there's two of them. And, and... Dotson was really low in in ADP, so I took Cook to make sure I was safe. And then both of them, not one, both. This is ridiculous. This is beautiful. Did you have something you were going to say, Al? I was just going to say, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, you guys had made a promise that we need to make good on. Oh, Oh, what did we do? Oh, man. This is not good. The Fantasy Footballers Podcast. (laughs) What was that? Is that a new musical? (laughs) It's podcast. the podcast. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't realize this. This is show 1491. We are nine episodes away from show 1500. Which and will be- that will be Fantasy Footballers the Music. Welcome, everybody. Yes, we've made it here. It's true. And so we're celebrating with a musical review. 1500 episodes of the Fantasy Footballers Show. Our fans, the Foot Clan, we owe it all to them. Hey! Loving Michael Keaton and our dinner butter trend. And there's plenty more to go with Andy's voice cracking intro. 
in a world of football fantasy crying when we see our wives with the deucers in deucers alley hitting that now Andy, Mike, and Jason, everybody places please The audience is waiting for this very special treat Raise the curtain now, let's go It's our 1500th show Andy, Mike, and Jason on the goal line It's football time Oh my goodness That was <laughs> That was something awesome Woo! Dallas, 5-2 Philly, 7-1. Here we go. Matchup of the week here. DraftKings here we Sportsbook go. line, Philly minus three. The over-under is 47 points. I want this game. You want? I want this game. <laughs> I want this game to there happen. There was no more for that, that was sentence? It. That was the sentence. Oh, to happen. Yeah. I want this game. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, I little, want it. It was a little, uh, a little creep, creepy. creeper from behind the bushes. <laughs> With some binoculars. I got binoculars out. Oh, yeah. For sure. Who's that Dallas mm. Philly? Ooh, I want it. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> so gross. Um, give it to me. Give me this game. <laughs> Philly minus three. Over under is 47. A game perv. <laughs> <laughs> game perv. Goodness gracious. Can we not go down it's, this train? Yeah. Can we not? No, no, no. You don't have permission to sound that way. Just because we contextualize it to the game. No. No, Brooks. <laughs> shut the mic off. Uh, Jason's so into this game, though. Which leaves one name to finish Wait, third. Jason I, Moore. I, I, spin the stupid wheel. <laughs> All right. Reading them out. So we got uh, Viking. Did I see Viking? Where is he? Alvin? Alvin. Alvin. <laughs> Wait, is that Alvin and that the chipmunks? Theodore. Looking good. Looking nice. How would you nice. think? You what do you think? I think I look good like this. Yeah, I mean, you definitely you looked apart. But I don't, try try the voice again. Try the voice. Oh, again. okay. <laughs> oh no. Like this, Mike. Okay. All right. Well, enjoy this. Oh, that's pretty clever. Wait, wait, wait. Let me talk about it again. Mm. Yeah. You want that game? <laughs> I want that game. <laughs> oh, no. Um, All right, let's do the show. Does this mean that Jason has been shamed twice as much as either of us, Mike? Uh, Despite the fact he has the most total wins? <laughs> what do you think about that? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that because I've got the most points. I've still outscored you boys. <laughs> You're not getting goosed by Godwin. No, no. But, no. but so far this year, you also haven't been. What's the opposite of a goose in a good way? Like, what would swan? that be? You're not getting swanned. Okay. You're not getting swan. Swan, swan is the end. It's the swan song. I uh, no, I think uh, it's great. A, a beautiful swan. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, what okay. what else? What else would it be? What, do you want, like hold a on, hold dragon? on. I just... I, for for, I know we're talking on the podcast, so this is embarrassing. But like, is a swan? That's the same animal as a goose, right? No, no, they're different. A swan, I, is a swan its own thing? Okay. Yeah. So I a will say this: a swan's its own thing. It like, is. You, so if a, a, a lake is filled, there'd be ducks, there'd be swans, there'd be geese. Yeah, that's possible. I, for some reason, I thought maybe a swan was just a real pretty goose. Uh, when I said that's it, because of the ugly I was duckling, wait, I was waiting for someone to be like, <laughs> well, yeah. "Dude, yeah, you were dude, right. That's the same animal." So a swan's just its own thing. Yeah, the swan's got the real long neck. What do geese have? I, I'm looking at a photo, swan versus goose. They are totally different. Just unbelievably <laughs> are, different. But let me tell you, one is ugly. One is a beautiful. There are beautiful many bird. differences between geese and swans. They yeah, are, you're right about the whole neck, man. A goose is... I mean, the wing... Mean, you'd rather have the longer neck, right? Like if oh, you're, for sure. If you're choosing what you want to be. You want the beauty of the swan. You want the... A massive ten foot wingspan. You don't want a wingspan of geese that's generally between three and four <laughs> feet. You are so knowledgeable there. Oh yeah. man, exactly. So, like I was saying, you're not getting a goose from Godwin, but you're probably not getting a swan, right? So it's like a mallard. <laughs> oh, dude, mallards are great. Oh, you love the mallard. I love me a mallard. That's the like the iridescent green. Yeah, yeah. this is just a duck. <laughs> Just a it, it really is. It is. I mean, yeah, when you say duck, you're thinking about a mallard. Yeah. 
Are we done uh, with this discussion? The, Can the, Dalton the Kincaid... bird one or the football game? And like, you know who's back this week? Marshawn Lattimore. Wait, is he back? Is that, when is that? Uh, a day ago it was reported that Michael what? Thomas and Marshawn Lattimore are expected to return against the Bucs. I, oh, I, what? We've seen we all just, reports yeah, we, that he is 100% out. We looked like, on Monday. And Lattimore, was, maybe you read it wrong, because Lattimore and Thomas are not expected to return against the Buccaneers, according to the reports I'm reading. That is exactly the word. It's not. Guess who's I not. I read that report <laughs> Say exactly guess who's opposite. not back. Can you re, re say it? Say it again. I like Mike Evans this week because the Evans killer, Marshawn Lattimore, not expected to be back for I mean, the Tampa Bay it's Buccaneers. It's a very important word in the it, sentence. It's Jason. three letters, Mike. I got three letters wrong. I mean, it's not. And that. there was a bunch of other letters that got right. I got, like, percentage-wise of that <laughs> sentence was, like, 97% correct. I mean, cut, cut me some slack. <laughs> Three letters. Honestly, we thought you were breaking crazy news because yeah. Mike and I were looking at early. Yeah, because you know, it's pretty important. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for the welcome in. It was said through gritted teeth. I appreciated your it's football time. I'm loving life over here, guys. There, there is, There's some crap that happened. You are trying to make a deal primarily for Jamar Chase, and in so doing, working with Papa Josh, you can't get a deal to go down because he wants a certain thing that you don't have, he doesn't want to break up a stack, yada, yada, yada. He wants a stack. And so you, you and you alone, coordinate a three-team trade between you and Papa Josh and Al Borland that, that heals everybody's desires never had a three-team trade go through in our league that took th a, took a considerable amount of thought and time but the the, the little extra context i want to i want to add is that at the lunch table the whole conversation began because papa josh said hey andy would you consider jonathan taylor and a cup for for saquon and a couple twos because it was the same offer you had denied mm-hmm I said, nah, he's on a buy. Otherwise, I would probably consider that. Um, I said, what about Jamar Chase? Josh goes to his desk. You know, I could probably survive that. Let me go talk to my co-manager. So that was the beginning okay, of it. Okay, okay. And he came back to me and said, you know what? I just can't do it because I don't want to lose my stack. I have the Burrow Chase stack. If I didn't have that stack, I would probably do it. Okay. Sorry. I and know that's probably not so as necessary, but so that you, it was in my heart. You go and you find a way to get Josh a new stack. Yes, with Justin Fields and DJ Moore. Yep, uh, multiple second round picks being involved. Amari I, Cooper, Al Borland is a third party to it. He he's providing the stack. Mm -hmm. He gets more. I knew I knew Al's been trying to trade DJ Moore for a long time. Mm -hmm. I said. Look, I can get you more than DJ Moore. I can get you Joe Burrow and DJ Moore. Yeah. I'm going to solve a problem for you. It was a great deal for Jeremy. In fact, both Jeremy and Josh thought you came up with a brilliant plan because they weren't looking at this. They had no plans of making this trade, but they found a way. Well, you found a way for their teams to be better. Yes, and, and and we talked about it for an hour. We're keeping it very secret. In uh, fact, I want to add this nuance in there. Al offered the deal, and I clicked accept. So uh -huh. we had two-thirds of a party. Two-thirds were and done. And we just had Papa Josh, my Sorry. brother, former. Former brother-in-law. My brother, who's just said, I just need to wait for my co-manager. Uh -huh. And then uh -huh. we might be there. And then the trade went through. The trade goes through the platform. Sleeper alert. Trade has been accepted. I'm sure you were excited. And Thrilled. Then, and then you saw the trade, and it was the same trade you came up with. Without you, you're cut out of it. You don't get Jamar Chase. You don't send the two twos to Papa Josh. But Papa Josh and Jeremy, they, they liked what you came up with in the other players in the deal and so they took your deal without you carving you out and you were not happy you are yeah! not happy it was so uncomfortable 
and entertaining at the same time. And now these two gentlemen uh, over here in Deucer's Alley. Let's show these two shameful gentlemen in Deucer's Alley. I, Josh hasn't looked at me. <laughs> he can't look up at all. When I got home last <laughs> night, my wife had a text from him saying, like, give him a hug because something – like, I did a bad thing. <laughs> oh, so so here's the truth. And, and you're not going to like <laughs> – No, 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 no. Bull <laughs> crap. I didn't even get to say anything else okay, okay. after you concluded that. I have been very vocal from the moment it happened. It is fine to decline my trade. What happened was neither person – and I hold Al very responsible – because Al could have accomplished the deal later in the day with integrity, but he chose to put the blame on Papa Josh and just accept the deal. No one told me. Nobody rejected the offer. Everybody said, we're about to do it. And then they secretly back-channeled this trade that I built with no disclosure of saying, hey, I don't want to do it. So I was incensed. There's only one thing that's happened to me in this league that was worse. It was by <laughs> yeah. Mike a long time ago. But this was this was true bad form in my opinion yeah bush league bad form and the way that i see it is the process is certainly wrong but also i understand the outcome the outcome makes sense it, oh, it yeah. was a trade that made totally sense for fine both with them, that and josh didn't want to give up jamar chase so no he didn't like, want to give him up to me but sure he didn't yeah. want to trade you yeah, jamar yeah. chase yeah exactly and in the end i'm like okay that's fair game totally the only thing that was really upsetting about it is that they didn't come to you and say hey we're I, not in on this. We're not in on yep. this, but we're going to take – they should have just been men of honor and said, yes. hey, yes. we're going to do this deal without you. I am sorry. I yeah. don't want to give you Jamar Chase. Instead, they pushed it through, carved you out. What is the opposite of a man of honor? Uh, that would be a Josh. man of, a man would, of dishonor. <laughs> that would be Papa Josh. That would be a man of dishonor. So I put the blame uh, 80-20 on Papa Josh. As fate would have it, in most perfect form, Josh the betrayer. Mm-hmm. And my League of Record team are now meeting in the semifinals. One of you will be in the championship. One of you will not at the expense of the other. That's and you have created a wonderful stack for him in Justin Fields and DJ Moore playing against the Arizona Cardinals this week. So you we'll see if Evil wins. I'm not one to troll. But. Yeah, you're above it. But if my opponent, whose name was the grumpy old trolls, Papa Josh himself, on this buildup. Like, I feel like it would be kind of disrespectful to somebody whose name is the trolls, not mm -hmm. to at least reflect. Yeah. Give them what they deserve and enjoy. So, I mean, we did invite Josh for a moment to come into the studio if you want to take a look over there at Deucer's Alley. Wait, for those watching. does he have a gift? I did, get, I did oh, prepare man. him a gift. And in, an, then, in a nice, like, uh... And oh. <laughs> Oh, and nice there's, loser there's, frame. And there's a frame we built for him here on YouTube. Now, Josh, while you're over there, if you want to just open up your gift. And it, the, the box is a nice peppermint. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's a beautiful box. It is. I'm just, if you just want to open it up here, I'll give you a play by play. I hope it's a turd. Now, what's the first thing you find in there? What do you got? Oh, what do you got? It's a picture <laughs> of Amari Cooper. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, and there's then, more? What else is in there, Josh? Oh, oh, it's the return to sender. Oh, it's everything you <laughs> sent me all week long, hey, including. I need this one. <laughs> the book. The book, the Healing, Healing After <laughs> Loss. <laughs> we'll just keep some stuff up on the screen here during the show. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you this right now, Andrew Holloway. Oh. If you now have done all this and you don't win the championship this week, shame on you. Happy to report that uh, after defeating the evil one, Josh, I did finish the job. Took yeah, care of business. That is great. That is great news. Jason graciously handed me the trophy that he had won last year, which I received and then embraced. And then, well, we won't. <laughs> talk about anything else yeah, private times <laughs> but, 